In iOS 18, I got a favorite new button. It's in the phone app, it's in the top left, and it brings up a question. In an era where privacy is more guarded than ever, why would Apple, a company known for its privacy stance, introduce call recording and transcription? We're gonna unpack that a little bit today, but that button, of course, is the record and transcribe feature that's new if you have the latest edition of iOS. If you're not sure if this feature will be available for your setup, Apple actually has an iOS and iPadOS 18 feature availability website where you can go and check. This already came in useful for me the other day when I was switching insurance and there was like all these steps that I needed to remember and I just hit record this call. And then I got a nice little succinct uh, transcript of everything that happened in that call in my Apple Notes app. And honestly, this is invaluable whether you need to remember details from important calls like me or document agreements, maybe it's for legal or for compliance purposes. But with iOS 18.1, Apple's made it really straightforward to allow you to just directly do this from your phone without any third party apps. So to wrap up that loop I opened earlier about why would Apple, this privacy focused company, do this, it seems like it could be an invasion of privacy. Well, the way that Apple's implemented actually isn't a privacy violation because you kind of basically end up getting consent from everybody because it announces that it's going to start this call recording. The funny thing is though, like on the insurance call that I had, when I started recording it, I was like on hold or whatever, getting transferred in between agents. So actually they didn't know that I was recording the call funnily enough. But you can rest assured that if you're on a normal call, then users opt into recording for specific calls. It doesn't just happen for every call and the other party is informed. So that aligns with Apple's commitment to user privacy for not just the iPhone user, but whoever the iPhone user is interacting with to the extent that that's possible. So here's the succinct instructions for you, okay? During a call, while you're on the call, you're gonna see that new icon up in the top left. It's that waveform with the circle and then you're gonna tap it to start recording. Now at that point, it jumps into a notification so that both parties hear an audio announcement that the call is getting recorded and you'll see that a recording indicator is started on your screen. Now after the call, once it ends, you can open up your notes app to actually find that recording in the transcript. It'll be under a new note called call recordings. Then you can just view it, tap it, listen to it, read it. You know, it's never a bad thing, learning how to be more productive. If you wanna learn how to get more done in less time with less burnout in the Apple ecosystem, like Ted, Sean, and Alvin here, then check out my course, which can help you reduce the stress in your life, boost your income, and save you time. I've also got an AI bundle that you can pre-order now. It's three courses in one for a really low price, along with a course on Apple's Freeform app, and some other courses that you might love as well. And here's the thing, they're all 50% off right now, for the holidays for a limited time. You can check them all out linked up down below. I'm looking around on the internet and I'm seeing that mostly people seem to be pretty excited about this because it's convenient. As far as the privacy concerns, I mean, you'd have to work pretty hard. You'd have to be pretty genius, I think, to dupe somebody uh, with this and end up recording something against their wishes. I'm not saying that it's impossible because I already outlined one example where that actually sort of happened. But generally, especially professionals are super into this. Now, it's not just people like lawyers uh, who are liking this, but people who just want better productivity are also gonna find this super useful as well. To not have to have a third party app that you have to mess with and dip into, but to actually have this baked right into the Apple ecosystem, right into the OS is super awesome, just because it's convenient. That's where the convenience comes from. It's just like set it and forget it. It's there if you need it and you don't have to use it if you don't want to. And a lot of people might not realize this, but this is an Apple intelligence feature. So if you're like, I don't really know if there's a practical use for me for Apple intelligence at the moment. Well, here's one. This is part of Apple intelligence and it's useful. Now at the same time, not everybody can take advantage of Apple intelligence because you have to have a device that's capable of working with Apple intelligence. So that's where some frustration has kicked in online I've seen. But who is this for? I mean, again, for professional use, if you're a lawyer, a journalist, someone like a consultant, you can now record interviews or client meetings for accurate documentation. It's gonna reduce errors, ensure compliance with legal standards. On the education side, teachers and students can record and transcribe their discussions for later review, perhaps. Or just your personal life. I mean, think about whenever you have a important family discussion with a family member. Think about if you have a family member that is having Alzheimer's or something and you wanna document some memories, some calls in your long distance. I mean, this could come in useful in so many scenarios outside of just the usual. And I think it's gonna take a little retraining for a lot of people to realize that this is now an option 
right? We've all been trained to just answer a phone call or make a phone call and just like forget about anything else. Well, a, a big part of getting value out of this is going to be just remembering that it's available to you. And I think there's some deeper layers here. I could see Apple in the future, maybe even doing a more sophisticated AI analysis of your calls if you want to, which could offer insights into like conversational patterns or sentiment, which could be pivotal maybe from like a customer service or sales perspective, or again, offer some insight into those personal calls with friends or family members as well. Now, some people are like, this feels too big brother to me. And I get it. Um, but we do live in an age where all of this stuff is basically happening. If you don't think there's not an AI out there somewhere, either from the government or a big corporation that isn't sifting all your data and behavior and analyzing it for things like sentiment, trying to predict what your actions are going to be, what is going to make you purchase something, then you're crazy. There are some other interesting angles here, though, for people who have like hearing impairments or memory issues then you know, letting there be a transcript, we can go back and review or listen to a conversation could be really a big deal. So there it is, that's how it works and a little more information about it. I'm really curious what you're gonna do with it. Do you have any clever or particularly useful or insightful ways to put this feature to use? If so, let me know.